Okay, let's get started. A little air conditioner noise outside. Go ahead and launch Golang. Do it later. Okay. So here I am and I um, have this service. The service is, if I were going to put it into a layer cake, let's see if I can find that document. Uh, on the graffle. Crap, I have to look that up. Anyway, long story short, um, if I think of this as a layer cake, so this service deals with the lowest layer. It is the interface between my software and the database. So in this case, I'm, uh, I've got some files that, um, some media files that I'd like to move over from uh, a whole bunch of backups that I've built up over time and kind of organize them and put them into something coherent and I'm using a Postgres database to kind of work through that um, and so I have an interface between my software and that database um, that interface is kind of largely prescribed right I'm just going to be talking about the uh, the API for the target database which I'm using PGX in this case since um, I'm dealing with Postgres but it's kind of already in some ways kind of decided for me right because it's going to be the things I need to do to get files back from or data back from the, the, the database server and so that's going to be fairly narrow. Now, one layer, one level, the layer cake above that is kind of my model layer, right? That's where I have the concepts in my system. And I've been spending so much time thinking about how the file service should go that when I got to the controller, which um, is actually should be one layer above, I was totally kind of tunnel vision on what this should do. But instead of worrying about the control right now, I'm going to worry about my model. And the difference between what the database views as uh, important data and my model is my model is based on conceptual uh, framework of what the system does or doesn't do. So in this case, I'm trying to put together images that I've taken over time, have scattered around a whole bunch of backups, um, want to stop carrying around, you know, 1.5 terabytes of random garbage that I can't even find these images in. I'd rather have, you know, uh, uh, you know 200 gigabytes of just images and I can have a good shot at finding, you know, a picture of my uh, my kid when they were three years old as opposed to you know um, I've got hundreds of I've got 44,000 unique images most likely I, I think most of them could probably even go away so what should my what should my model be so my model in this case is an image right so if I uh, let's go ahead and create a new file, let's create call this image because that's the concept that I'm dealing with, right? So I've got an image, and we'll make it a struct for now, but it might not be a struct, right? So I could see I could see image being an interface. And, you know, we say, okay, get me this image and um, you know, get, give, give me the bytes that back this image. And, and that could come from a variety of sources, et cetera, et cetera. 
Um, we could have different implementations of image possibly, but for now, because I don't know, I haven't decided that. Let's, let's just leave it as a struct. That makes the most sense. In general, I think that's what I like to do is I like to start with a struct and pretty quickly I can tell if I'm going to have multiple implementations of that interface, in which case, or implementations of that API, in which case I'll move it to an interface and create concrete implementations. Okay, so we've got an image. Um, I don't know what's in there right now. I haven't decided that yet. Um, so the next question is, what do we do to find an image? Um, certainly, I mean, how, how do we talk about images? How, how, do we, how do we say, hey, look at this picture? I mean, we show people a picture, but how do we kind of identify a picture? Well, you know, logically, I think that maybe like what the picture is about, a picture of a truck, um, maybe a place or time where we took the picture. Hmm, that's good coffee. Uh, and and if you think about how we we you know we have albums. Albums are. You know the, the the old the old way of doing it was you have some sort of photo album and you have the pictures from an event or you have the pictures for a given year or something. So I feel like we need some way to locate. In fact, I, I'm going to go ahead and call it that. I'm going to call it the image locator. So. And Now, I know this is going to be an interface because it's going to be the kind of thing that I'm going to test. And when I test it, I will probably, um, well, it'll be used by another layer higher up in the, the layer cake of, of, uh, of concepts. And as it moves up that layer cake, uh, I want to mock this out so that the controller, when it calls the image locator, um, It, um, I, I can mock out the image locator with like a, a test image locator that is going to return some values that I give it or whatever. Okay, so I've got my image locator, and what should it do? So I don't, so this might be one approach. So I could do find by date range and I could have start and and that returns back a list of images and possibly an error right if something went wrong um, what else would we have find by subject Um, location. Okay, so um, we could do something like find something by date range, subject, location, event. Uh, however, we might want to combine these, right? So we might want to say find the images of um, 
find the images of my sister's wedding on um, you know the day before or whatever or you know or find find pictures of a birthday as an event and uh, I have a date range of uh, my kid's birthday or something like that so we need some way to combine these right so what's a good way to do it well this does also imply something it implies that images have uh, a date uh, it applies a subject maybe multiple subjects right so um, I could look at an image and I could say it is a wedding um, and it's also a trip for example if it's a destination wedding it could be both it could be two things right so we've got subjects and that is I don't know array of string right now or a slice of strings um, I'm guessing there's going to be one location right and the location is not going to be really that long I'm not going to think of my trip to Aruba by the uh, ICBM address for Aruba. And event. I don't like subjects. People isn't quite right because I could have taken a picture of a thing, right? I could have said, oh, there's an interesting insect. Well, that's fine. That's fine. So, you know, this could be something like um, this could be, you know, something like. Um, Could be something like um, January third, twenty nineteen, and the subjects could be my kid location home event. Maybe there is no specific event for this. Ah, what else would be useful? Oh, probably description, right? Right. So we probably have something like, you know, if I take the time, I could probably put in some sort of like uh, description. That makes sense. Okay, so we've got. Well, maybe we've got uh, query parameters. We've got to let's say we've got a date range. I'm just riffing here from date to date. Um, subjects, locations, Uh, 
So maybe this just collapses to find and takes a query parameters and returns back images and possibly an error. Okay, so it's going to be my find is going to be a more complex query, right? I'm going to have to take a look at the kind of the, the set query parameters um, and um, kind of decide uh, what I want my SQL to look like based on that, right? So but here's the thing. I don't store any of that data right now. So I don't have a data what do I have for a database right now? I've got a wicked simple database. These are all the files I found. Which by the way, these are just the JPEGs. Um, and uh, I found that in some cases I have duplicates of the file. Okay. So that's what I have as a database so far. So it looks like in order to support these concepts I'll need to go back to my file service and kind of um, you know, to support this level of functionality, to support to support this kind of model, I'm going to need a little bit more stuff at the service level. So this gets the basic kind of idea around the uh, the the image the image source, which is uh, a path on a file system. A hash so I can kind of figure out if I'm talking about the same image or not uh, a file name which is just the last part of the path just for convenience and like if I want to do a, uh, a search based on file name and a size so in order to bridge the concepts we have here in image uh, to the service we need to start adding in those additional concepts so we probably need So think of, think of it this way. This is the way, this is what I'm thinking. So image is the concept, right? The implementation of that concept at the service level is a file on the file system. Could this be some other implementation, right? Could it, could it be um, a blob in some kind of um, uh, object store? Sure, right? So right now we are backing it with files on the file system and but it could be it could be objects in an object store. It could be an API that returns back to me images that I've uploaded somewhere else, right? So this is correct. I think file service is correct. We we pull this stuff off the file system. Now I don't know that I actually want to go back in here and add the concepts from image into file service, right? Because this could apply, this data could apply to something stored in a blob store or an API through an API somewhere, right? So given that, it doesn't make sense, I think, to put it in file service. 
we'll leave what's in file service in file service, which is the files on the file systems that are backing some of the images, right? Okay, so going back here, thinking about these concepts, what do I have? How do I back these? How do how do I um, put something together that allows me to uh, manage these concepts given that the actual implementation of how the image is stored may differ. So I think I think it's more like a metadata service. And that's all fine and well, right? But but how do I connect it back to an image? Right? I would have to have I would have to have another concept where I store the notion of an image and um, or the metadata and kind of a reference as to where that is. So this could be, you know, I could have these, this all files table. Um, maybe I actually create a different table that is all the u unique URIs of images I've uploaded. Um, or maybe I don't create a table for that at all. But I do store the metadata and the metadata does have a, a URL for the image, right? So I think I think what I have is a metadata service. And so I've got a file service. I think I have a metadata service that wants to come out of this. And then the image, so when I go into the image locator, I say find me an image. I go into, I really am querying the metadata, and the metadata then says, oh, this metadata is for something back with a file. Of course, you can look at it and say, well, that's really the image, right? That's really the metadata. What makes this an image? And not just the metadata that I store. Um, well, the fact that it's an abstraction, right? So, image should probably have something like um, Let's go think about the metadata and let's come back to the subtraction because this may move out of image. Let's move back, let's go back to metadata. So let's go ahead and create a new Go file and that is the metadata service. And I think I have a pretty concrete notion of what this needs to do. So I'm going to go ahead and add the test file as well. Okay. So I know I definitely have this, right? And so the metadata, and this is definitely a concrete struct. So what is this? This is the date file. The, the 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 so as you know probably that images are usually tagged in the extended EXIF information with the date the image was taken, which could be different than the file, right? The file on my file system could say you know um, you know. Um, June of 2021 when I started you know going back and putting together all my old backups but it the image might have been taken back in 2011 so um, we got a date uh, 
uh, in terms of the metadata, um, you know, one of the things we didn't have an image were tags, right? So I'm not sure if we want tags. So we know it occurred on a date. Um, you know, subjects are really tags. If you think about it, that subject concept is really a tag concept. And that's a list of a slice of strings, right? So I go in and I say, um, tag it. Generally I'm going to have one location. Right? We also have an image. And an event. I'm going to say events a tag as well. Let's see if the purpose of storage, an event is a tag. Location is unique, right? Because a picture only happens at one specific location. Yeah, I think for the storage purpose. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, we have tags, which are the way we store it in the database. But then we have certain like well-known tags, which are, say, locations and subjects, which are handled through the user interface differently. But at the end of the day, they're just tags. OK. Now, here's the thing. We need this metadata refers to something. This metadata has a reference to something. And uh, you know, I'm, it's an overused term, but let's call it locator. Make a struct for now. Yep. Can't use the same word twice. Location. Um, So we got this concept of the locator, and so the locator is going to be um, probably a source, right? So I could totally see this being database uh, blob. Um, Right, and then we need to be able to identify it in that locator. So here's the question, is locator a concrete thing? Or is it a type of thing? And maybe it's really We've got a locator interface, and we have uh, 
Let's leave that as a string for now. Um, and what does it return as? How does it return back the location? I mean, that could be an ID in a database, it could be a URI. Really, bytes, right? Probably a reclose or an error. And then we've got type. Locator source. And this would be database, or this would be files. File system locator would probably include uh, right. So we got a file system locator as a path. It's a string. Um, right, and so this would be something like return open so yeah, there you go so then we could have something like um, type uh, min.io and so um, what would I need to know for my min.io locator? I probably need to know the Host port uh, bucket. Right, so let's say funk and source will be something like, and I uh, sorry, used to some languages which automatically return the last thing. Uh, I'm going to cater data so this would do something like 
uh, open open connection file and return reader. Right, so that would be something like that. Or maybe we read the whole thing in start mode. I don't know. Anyway, long story short, but I don't have one of those yet. I have one of these. Excuse me. So from a practical standpoint, I know what this database table is kind of going to look like. I've got two options. I've got either a table that looks like, um, so this is my locator table. And I've got a locator table that looks like um, type. Um, and then in this case, I've got path. And then for MinIO, I have uh, host, port, um, host port, and uh, path. And then for some service, I might have uh, API, API key. And so based on based on the metadata, so I'd have what the data ID so could it be one to many? It's going to be one to one, but could it be one to many? Yeah, sort of, no, maybe, I don't know. Could, um, could a metadata, yeah, sure, no, uh, that would actually make sense because let's say, for example, I take the image, it's on my file system, and then I decide to move it to a different path in the file system. That's, that's legit, right? Um, I move it to a different path in the file system. It's still the same metadata information, right? It was still taken at the same date. It's still about the same stuff, it's still at the same location. It's just a different path, right? Or maybe I upload it to MinIO, or maybe I upload it to uh, you know some sort of Azure long-term storage. But the point is, it's still the same data. It's just at a different location. So this is probably a legit approach. OK. So Lidgator describes the uh, place where the bytes of the image are actually stored. So really, let's let's start thinking a little bit broader. So I'm working right now with all my JPEGs, but I have got a whole bunch of raw files and I've got a whole bunch of movie files that I haven't even touched. So metadata is really the metadata about the um, about the media. Well, that raises an interesting problem because right now, so I've got metadata, and this covers um, the stuff that we'd have be specific to, now specific to images. Well, sort of because um, you know, let's say this. So this would be good for JPEGs and raw images and but movies. 
might also have additional information like uh, runtime length or um, I don't know, maybe resolution. I don't know. Um, do I have anything besides images and video? I don't really have sound. I think I'm going to add run length. I am going to add runtime. And how do I want to store this? And that's a time about duration, right? Um, is encoding part of the metadata. Let's think about this for a second. So I have a picture, it's a JPEG. And then I take that JPEG and for archival reasons, I blow it out to a TIFF, an unencrypted, or sorry, uncompressed TIFF. So um, it's the same date, the same tags, the same location. Um, It's at a different location. It's at a different location, but it is, it is, a different encoding. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to go adding it here. Does it become different metadata if the image is re-encoded into another format? So I take the compressed video, I, I save it as uncompressed video. Um, now, now encoding is not relevant to the metadata. Okay, so where are we? So I think I'm okay with this. Um, a given piece of media. And let's stop calling image, let's say uh, media are actually stored. So, because locator will have different implementations, now I might actually have two different file services, right? I have one file server which takes the absolute path, definitely, but Maybe I create um, a different kind of file service, which um, which, like for example, I'm on Mac OS. I can build a bundle, and it would be like a uh, an Aperture archive. All right. Well, I'm going to call it a day for today uh, on this on the stream. But yeah, I think I think I kind of worked through this. Um, 
think I kind of worked through this, and I think this was definitely missing. Um, and I think I know what the table layout's going to be. All right, well, I'm going to call it a day for this stream, and I will continue working on this, but um, I will try to stream again tomorrow.